G'day guys. Um, I just wanted to show you this technique I use for making uh, grid sequences and uh, glitch sequences. So you can use any loop or sample for this. You're going to get variations uh, with the result, but uh, you can essentially do this with any any kind of sample. Um, it works really well with any sort of textured noise or bass or FM uh, loop. So for this example, I've taken uh, one of the glitch loops from Sick Noise's latest contact instrument, Noise Breaker. This is from the glitch folder. So here's the sequence. Uh, it's got no processing on this whatsoever. So yeah, we've got a pretty good variety of uh, textures and glitches and even some FMs in there. Uh, next, what we want to do is drag the sample into a MIDI channel. And what this will do is open it up into a simpler uh, open up an arpeggiator, put it into slice mode. Uh, so this is going to slice by transient, and that's what we want. So this means every time the arpeggiator is triggered, it triggers the sample at the start of the transient. So it's all in time and on the grid. And uh, I'll just give you, so you can hear what it sounds like right now. So the arpeggiator is randomly cycling through the whole loop and it's skipping around at to dif at, to different the different parts of the loop so we're getting a a randomized sequence already um next what i like to do is use the warp modes so i'm going to stretch this out put this in the tones mode and then reduce the grain size i'm going to get a sound similar to this So we're already getting a pretty interesting sound. Um, try the different warp modes. Textures are really nice. Um, textures and tones are really good for this particular style of sound. Um, next, I like to take a beat repeat. Put it in the 1 16th grid, 1 32nd. Play with the variation to taste. And you're going to get something like this. Uh, next, I'd just like to do a bit of processing. So all I've done is clipped it, added some OTT, low passed, sorry, high passed, got rid of the low frequencies, and added a panner. And this is what we end up with. And then in context. So, you know, next you can, you could record this into another channel and you can, you know, get forever, uh, forever endless loops of this. You can get variations out of this. You can change settings in the beat repeat, use a, uh, a rhythmizer or a, uh, glitch to, uh, looperator, any of these kind of, uh, beat repeating uh, VSTs or effects you can use as well. You don't need to just use the uh, Ableton beat repeat if you don't have Ableton, because all this, all this can be achieved in every other door. I'm sure there is a similar thing Cubase and Bitwig, um, but yeah. So this is the technique I like to use. Cheers.